Here's a little reminder on all the supplements I recommend you take. Now, supplements, as the word implies, is to supplement something that is already very, very, very good. And what should already be very, very, very good in regards to your weight loss is your water intake, calories in versus calories out, getting enough protein in, and getting enough sleep. Now, supplements will help you because even if you were to eat perfect, there's some nutrients that you just can't get in through real food unless you eat like a total psycho. The first of which is chlorophyll. Chlorophyll will improve or increase the red blood, your red blood cell count, but more importantly, it will really just cleanse your liver unlike any other food can. Secondly is vitamin D. I would recommend anywhere from 5,000 to 10,000 IUs. The only way to get vitamin D in through real food or real life is to walk around naked in sunshine all day long. Another one is chromium picolinate. You could get it in from real food, but it's just good to supplement with it because chromium picolinate regulates your blood sugar. Now your blood sugar determines how many cravings you get or how hungry you get and also how much fat you store because if you were to eat sugar without enough chromium picolinate, your blood sugar will go boom and then it'll spike and it'll come back down and then you get these mood swings and cravings. Chromium picolinate will make your blood sugar less sensitive to what you eat. And then if you combine chromium picolinate with the fourth supplement, which is boron, and that will improve your testosterone and just really emphasize the effects of the chromium picolinate. It's hard to get that in through real food. Supplement number five is omega-3s, which are huge. You absolutely, I mean, you absolutely have to supplement with omega-3s. The only other way to get omega-3s in through real food is to eat fish all day long. And the reason why you need them is because even if you eat perfect, but you walk around and you just have a daily life here in America, then you're gonna get a lot of toxins in. And these toxins and can come from food or just the air you breathe, they increase your omega-6s. You have omega-3s, 6s, and 9s. If you get too many omega-6s in, your body gets inflamed, and inflammation is where everything that is bad starts. Omega-3s will fight that inflammation. Omega-3s not only fight inflammation, they also boost your moon, mood, they also really improve your short-term memory, you just gotta remember to take it, and they also really curb your hunger and regulate your blood sugar. And if you ever have like elbow pain or shoulder pain, but it's not that bad, but you just have like little aches and pains, start taking omega-3s, I guarantee you it's gonna help big time. And then the last supplement is magnesium. Now almost everybody is deficient in magnesium. The biggest benefit that I have found personally of magnesium is yes, there are many health benefits and you could get it in from real foods by eating almonds, by eating spinach and real meats, but taking it, a magnesium supplement around 3, 4, 5 p.m., it has such a good effect or such a good uh, influence on your mood and just your overall pff, tranquility and it really helps with putting you to sleep. Now those were six health supplements. When it comes to performance supplements, there's not as many supplements that I recommend because most performance supplements are complete bogus. Now, the number one performance supplement that actually does work and the claims are true is creatine. I recommend creatine monohydrate. What it does is it basically, for lack of better words, it gives your body one or two or three more reps on a set. It gives your muscles a little bit more, boom, explosiveness. It gives your body the type of energy that is required for poof, aggressive action. Not only that, it boosts muscle, it builds muscle, it helps your, helps your muscle absorb more water so you have more strength in the gym and it is safe and you, all you need is about five grams a day. It's easy to take. And then my next supplement that I would recommend is a pre-workout. Now, a pre-workout is not really, I don't really even think it's like a, a supplement. A pre-workout is literally just caffeine with other ingredients added to it. Now, the supplement industry is a billion dollar industry. You wanna be careful, especially when choosing a pre-workout. Because when it comes to pre-workouts, how do you sell the most amount of pre-workouts? You put the most amount of stimulants in that make their, your customers feel the pre-workout. But in reality, if you can limit your caffeine intake to 200, maybe 300 milligrams a day, then you will be getting way better sleep and just live an overall way less stressful life. A lot of pre-workouts nowadays, just in one scoop alone, 
already have 300 or more milligrams of caffeine. It's not good for your adrenal system. It's going to lead to just you burning out. You might have an amazing workout, but then you're going to crash right afterwards, and that's going to mess with your hormones as well. And needless to say, it's going to mess with your sleep. And you already know by now, sleep is important. Now, the third performance supplement is amino acids. Some say that they do absolutely nothing. I am more in the camp of, well, I kind of like them, even if it's just a placebo effect. But what I do is I love intermittent fasting. So I love waking up in the morning and waiting for five, six hours before I eat, right? So during that time, I'm fasting. I'm not getting any calories in. All I'm doing is drinking water. But the beauty of amino acids is that amino acids are zero calorie, and amino acids are nothing more than, you gotta imagine like, let's say a chicken breast, putting a chicken breast in a little food processor or blender, and just extracting all the straight proteins without any of the calories. Just the pre-digested proteins. Like there's just the, the molecules of the proteins. You drink those, that, that's amino acids. Then you put that amino acid in some water, you drink it, it makes your water taste good too. And it repairs your muscle without you getting any calories in, or not even so much repairs your muscle, it keeps your muscle alive while you are fasting. So those are the three performance supplements that I recommend. Aside from the six health supplements that I recommend, quick reminder on why you need to take them. Make it easy for yourself to take them every single day. Um, it's not just old people that have a little pill organizer. Just get one. Amazon, just order one. Monday through Sunday with your AM and your PM pills. That's what I do. Make it easier on yourself. Because overall, the holistic effect of taking all these health supplements, it's gonna make a tremendous impact. Not just on how you feel, but just your overall health and how you move throughout the day. And in return, it'll also get you lean and give you better workouts because you're just overall healthier.